this. This is wrong, man. These kids deserve better, and I was giving it to them. He's a little bit fired up. Hall of Fame football star Ed Reed is responding to the fallout involving him and Bethune-Cookman University. Students protested, calling on the university to resume negotiations with Reed as head coach of the football team. And today, we're hearing from Reed and some of the players who say they want him to lead the football program. Well, as Christina Watkins tells us, though, the university's interim president says he doesn't want Reed there. This ain't right. This ain't right, man. An emotional Ed Reed speaking Monday night about Bethune-Cookman University's decision to not move forward with the NFL Hall of Famer as its next head football coach. I cry for them kids, man. I hurt for them kids because it's wrong. I got eight, eight kids that committed the week before. These kids calling me, their parents calling me. What are we going to do? I can't get these kids in no school. I can't have these kids uncommitted go somewhere else. And you telling me I'm I'm withdrawing? No, I'm not withdrawing. I still want to coach here and coach these kids after all this going on. Bethune Cookman announced the NFL Hall of Famer as the next head coach at the end of December. Some players said he immediately went to work trying to make things better. Coach Reed in three weeks has essentially done more than this entire administration and other um, program leads like other head coaching staffs and whatnot. He's done more in three weeks than they have in like of the past five years. They said conditions on campus are bad, moldy. Reed went off about this in a video on social media using profanity to criticize the university. He even said his office wasn't clean. Though he apologized, interim president Dr. Lawrence Drake said he made the decision to not move forward with Reed. And when we think about the culture that we're trying to build, that we have companies and partners like Disney and, and some of our other partners calling saying, what are you going to do about that? We can't support that kind of image. I needed him to really understand that we were a Christian institution, that behavior would, and character were clearly our priorities. I knew this was a Christian school. I knew that. I'm a Christian man. I, how, man? Dr. Drake, you wrong, man, don't do that. Reed says he's still in Daytona, hoping he can work something out with the university. Christina Watkins, West 2 News. All right, so Bethune-Cookman's interim president said that there is a team meeting Wednesday night to answer players' questions about letting Ed Reed go. He also sent a letter to students addressing their concerns with the campus. You can read that right now on West.com. We'll continue to follow the story very closely for you on air and online at West.com.